Hello guys and welcome to the uh, Leopard Prototype A review. This is a tier 9 German medium tank. It's uh, what I like to call a fast relocating sniping tank. Basically, you do not want to borrow this tank. What it does best is snipe. It has a really good gun. Check out the specs. Has a really good gun, 268 pen with uh, APCR, 330 with heat. The aiming time is 2.3, dispersion is 0.32. What you want to do with this tank, as I said, is snipe. You do not want to engage in close combat fighting with this because uh, it just lacks the armor and uh, the survivability. It has, uh, it has great mobility, great mobility for, uh, for a medium tank. You just gotta avoid duck fighting with it. Do not engage in close combat fighting unless you wanna end your game very fast. Okay, so let's get on to the equipment I would recommend with this. What I use on it is medium caliber tank on rammer, vertical stabs, and optics. Some of you might wanna use uh, ventilation. Because since I said it's a sniping tank, you want to be sniping with it and avoiding close combat, so you might want to have all the soft stats you need. Okay, uh, now for the consumables. Repair kit, first aid kit, and this is probably one of the first tank, one of the first tanks where I never burned with it, so I use chocolate. I have a lot of games in this tank and I never, never burned in this tank. It's truly the first tank that hasn't had any problems with fire. Okay, now let's get on to the crew skills. On the commander, first skill I will recommend on any tank is the Sixth Sense, followed by repairs. And I got the uh, situation awareness so I can. Uh, increase my view range and just abuse the view range and the, the view range mechanics okay I'm the gunner again I, I have repairs I recommend having six sensor repairs on any tank because yeah maybe except scouts because they can't really uh, take a lot of shots but on medium tanks heavy CDs and so I recommend yeah Having six cents and repairs at the first kill. Okay, uh, on the gunner, I got repairs, I got snapshot, uh, okay, and uh, camo. This isn't the best uh, crew I got, so it's pretty much yeah, not, not such a good crew. But I'm getting camo on uh, all the crewmen, and the next skill that I'm gonna get is uh, Brothers in Arms. When I unlock the fourth skill, I'm probably gonna retrain and uh, put something else. Put Brothers in Arms as the first skill and put something else on like repairs or maybe camo as last because Brothers in Arms needs 100% uh, function. Okay, now let's go to the driver. Driver repairs, clutch braking. This doesn't really need clutch braking because it turns pretty fast, but I just like to have all the soft stats I can get. And then again, camo. Going to the loader. Repairs, camo. And this is a must. <laughs> this is a must. This tank will get amorac a lot. Might even want to have two, uh, two repair kits on your tank. A large one and a small one. Because it gets amorac a lot. So state safe stowage is a must. Have safe stowage on a tank, uh, you will regret it. Okay, regarding the ammo, the armor of this tank, not much to say there. Pretty much all the tanks can and will pen you. So do not try to tank shots. Do not try even to side scrape because if you side scrape, you got 35 side armor. All the shots will go in, no problem. So do not try to side scrape or whatever. 400 view range, this goes great with optics and uh, the view range skills. 
what you want to do on this tank is just abuse the, the, the camo, the view range, yeah, and just try to stay unspotted as much as possible. The, um, the rate of fire on this tank is not so great, to be honest. Uh, it's five shells a minute, yes. Not so great, even with, uh, with chocolate, and I will get brother on this gun, so even with that, it's not going to be great. It's not a good DPM tank, one more reason to avoid close combat fighting. The damage on the gun is very good, very good. 90 average damage. We're gonna love playing this tank as a sniping tank. Okay, now let's get on to our play to, uh, to finish this review. Okay, this is a play uh, Karelia. Really good game I had. Basically, shows you how I like to play this tank. Okay, it's assault mode. And as I said, you want to be sniping with a tank, so instead of going into usually populated areas, I go on the hill first and try to just try to snipe whatever I can get. You really want to avoid being it's not a general rule, but you might want to avoid being detected in the first minutes just to see how the battle lays out, just to see where you can go safely. Stuff. Just try to try to play the tank as a support tank. Never go, never engage close combat fighting unless you really have to, or you got support, you got the teammates or people that support you. Okay. So here I am waiting for some snipes. You might uh, get called names and stuff sometimes because you have to play a passive game with this tank, but yes, if you want to do great in it, just play it. As I said, the, the, this gun is great for sniping. Really great for sniping. Has amazing accuracy. So. One more reason to stay in the back and get the damage done. Okay. If I had gun, I usually with armor tanks. I usually go behind these rocks. To F six seven. If I would have gone there, I probably would have been dead by now. Because a lot of uh, enemy tanks went there. That's uh, kind of a bad shot. I thought I'm gonna get the enemy guy and shot my guy instead, but luckily, no damage there. So, yeah, if I would have gone there, I would probably have been dead because this tank can't take shots at all. You wanna not just avoid getting shot, avoid getting spotted. Just use bushes as much as you can. Try to shoot from far distances. This is a kind of mistake. I kind of rush down so I don't get spotted. But nothing happened there, so it's good. Now, what I'm trying to do is get in a position where I can shoot at TC9, but I know there's the IS3, so try to get some shots on it. Only his turret was uh, visible there, so yeah, I kind of waste his time a bit there. But still, if you can get a shot done, yeah, I did. If you can get a shot done, do not hesitate. And I immediately see that I'm spotted, and I try to back down to the rock, get cover, not die, not die. If you get focused, you die instantly. instantly. Now I try to get to a position where I can shoot at T69 safely. This is a really bad area to, to be noticed in <laughs> because uh, yeah, it's assault. All the guns are going to be focused in this area. I tried to get a shot on the pattern, but he was behind the rocks. And 
As I said, I try to use bushes as much as I can. I try to use cover as much as I can. And snipe. Okay. Keep trying to fight targets at long distances. I'm really avoiding the close combat. Okay, I got a nice shot on the IS-3 there. Let's see, can I get one more? Yep. I basically rely a lot on your teammates. This tank can spot too, but uh, I just try to avoid that because the armor is better. Okay, now I'm looking for a shot on the T69. And we got it. Now I can advance safely. What do I want to do on Karelia on assault mode? The my spawn is just get as close as you can to D3. That is a s relatively safe position for any tank. If you stay on uh, on H six, seven, eight, nine area, you I mean the area near the mountain don't really have cover there, so you want might want to get as close as possible to the, the enemy base. What I do here is a kind of a reckless thing, but because I saw the Tiger P was alone, the enemies have already advanced behind us, I thought of risking and taking a shot too, just so I can uh, finish him off, because uh, he was spotting us and that was a bad thing, because people were advancing from behind us already. Okay, try to get some shots on the SU. He's got a derp gun, so might want to avoid getting shot by the high explosive. If you get shot by high explosive, it will hurt. Again, I try to get shots in the safe distance. I was lagging here, so that wasn't the greatest shot. Got a brave T43 there. He was doing a good job spotting. Okay, but the enemies are hiding. I try to take advantage, advantage as much as I can. The spotting the T43 provides before he dies. Just using the gun at its best. Okay, a lot of people are behind me now. So I really gotta use the cover. Try to get a shot on the SU. Now back down to the rock. And wait here until I get one spotted. Then I can move again and get a shot on the SU. But sadly we bounce and yeah, move back again to the cover. Because the people behind can shoot me. And they already tried blind shooting. Okay. Now I see the ISA coming. Get a shot on him before he decaps. But sadly, he gets a shot on the top and game's over with him. Now, just try to finish the guys that are close to me faster. Okay, I'm alone versus four tanks now. What do I do? I need to stay in cover. I need to use the bushes. I need to abuse the, the, the V range. So, as you can see, I got a great V range on this tank. I see the T30 shooting doesn't even spot me and I keep doing that okay got a great shot on the commander's hatch there just, just what I was saying this tank has really great accuracy next we're gonna cover I waited a bit to see if I can finish him but no I notice a tree goes down there so I try to bind you have no idea if I managed to shoot him or not he was low HP when uh, when he went down. I mean, he spot the tiger, and I think I shot him in the gun, not bit because that was a no damage hit. I finished the tiger fast. As you can see, I'm not spotted yet. Exactly what you need to do. Now the SU spots me because I went back. Try to get a quick snapshot on him to avoid getting spotted, and it's done. Now it should be relatively 
easy to finish these two. Okay, so I try to get a, a spot on the T30 now. But instead I get spotted by the T28 here. Immediately I back down and try to avoid the getting shot, try to avoid plot close combat. Now what I'm trying to do is get unspotted and move away so I can shoot from a distance. But as I'm going far, I spot a T30, go behind the bush. If you if you shoot behind a bush, well it's not transparent anymore. Will not get spotted, so yeah. Finish G30. Now I notice I only got 40 seconds left, so I go for the risky move. Just uh, do it recklessly because I don't have time. Get a snapshot on the T30. On a prototype there. Okay, one more shot. One more shot. Don't need to bounce. One more shot. And yes, there we go. Kalobanos, Bradley Walders, Top Gun. Finish the game with. 7k damage done. So that's basically it, the Leopard Prototype A in a nutshell. Hope you guys enjoyed it and wait for more, please. Thank you.